Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my a homosexual opinion. I'm dark. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for pit bulls. Y'all, we have to start loving pit bulls as much as I they deserve. I think he's a great artist. I really enjoy, you know, that one song where he's like, hey. Can I be honest? Every time I see him, don't hear a word coming out of his mouth, straight to the bulge. That man has a bulge. Yeah. Actually, he is I'm hot. Gonna, I, 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 I was just about to say, I'm gonna have to go out on a limb here. Cheers to fan. I do think Pitbull is hot. I would. I, I would think, in a heartbeat. I would too, but I can, can I tell, and being honest, okay, with being very vulnerable, <laughs> yeah. I do feel like though, mid sexual act, I would start giggling and I'd be like, <laughs> you're Pitbull. And if you're a landlord, you have to stop doing all dogs except Pitbulls. Pitbulls are the sweetest and smartest. Yeah, JB is part Pitbull and she's, well, I would just say she's smart, but she's sweet. She's very smart. In what way? She knows not to bark. True. I do think that comes from trauma, ultimately. And, and she but. knows how to sit on my foot with her asshole, and I, I find it charming. I trained her to do that. That's actually how I was trained to greet people. I grew up Southern Baptist. All my Southern Baptists, you get it. Speaking of religion, it's Ash Wednesday. Did you do Ash, Ashy? Mm -hmm. Growing up very South, very Southern, you know, we were all very Protestant, so we didn't have a lot of Catholics in my neighborhood. And I remember one Catholic, her name was Katie. She's dead. She died. No. In childbirth. Yeah. Not during high when school. When she was getting birth or when she was giving birth? Yeah, she died a few years ago in childbirth. High school is like so younger sad. and younger. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, sad. She was nice. You're being an asshole. Anyway, she's going to Catholic heaven because every Ash Wednesday she'd come to school with that little funny, um... It's she a had, smoky forehead. It always, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a smoky eye for and the forehead. And she did. She smoked it out. It's a smoky eye for your third eye. But I don't think that Catholics believe in. Katie set off an alarm so we'd stop talking about her. Okay, you're right. You're right. Katie, I'm Rest sure, was a nice Katie. girl, but I don't think the Catholic Church should be allowed. Listen, let's get into this. <laughs> Good transition. <laughs> yeah, so for those of you who, who hate uh, when we talk about anything but Drag Race, LOL, why are you still watching this? We have seen each other a thousand times in the last two weeks. We have three other episodes in the can that I'm currently editing, so we have nothing to talk about except for the show. So that's great. Yeah. You're in luck. We're caught up. Robert, you're gonna love this one. Robert, if you're still watching, uh, why? What is Ash Wednesday? Is that when Jesus died? Or is that a joke? I don't know. Jesus died on a Friday. That's you why, know I never joke. That's why you say TGIF. Thank God it's Friday, if you hate Jesus. So Ash Wednesday is when you say, I'm gonna give up. So you do Fat Tuesday, you do Mardi Gras. So you can you like, just did get down. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, you're like, oopsie doopsie, for 40 days, I'm gonna give up The Real Housewives. And then for 40 days, every time you wanna watch Real Housewives, you pray, okay? Or, or cheese, I don't know, I'm a Catholic. <laughs> and then- Every time you wanna watch The Real Housewives, eat cheese. You know Margaret Josephs is gonna be at Roscoe's, Roscoe's on, Friday. on Friday. I have to meet that bitch. I would love to meet her, I, and I'd love to see and Jackie. Want, Jackie's it, gonna be there. And more important, shut up. Jackie Cox is there. Oh, I thought you meant Jackie from Real Housewives of Jersey. Oh, I hate her. I <laughs> no, don't no, hate no. her. That's a strong term. You would not like her this season. I don't no, like her any season. What I, look, but her husband's out. Yeah. No, listen. What I really want, I want to meet Margaret, of course, but what I really want is for them to have more housewives. I got to get to Kelly Ben Simone. I think this is the beginning. The beginning. This, this is, is the beginning, beginning of the, the start of our review. Let's get into it. Okay. Mama, the library is open. I love the library and I love when it's open. Can I tell you, a lot of these books, I was interested in checking out. This was a great library One challenge. One of the best libraries we've had in a while. Certainly yeah. in a while, maybe of all time. We're bad drag race historians and so I will say that I can't remember anything past this library. So I'm gonna agree with you. What's your favorite library in film This TV? one? Oh, um, Macaulay Culkin. Cartoon books. Page Master. Yes. Yes. Mine is The Mummy, where Rachel Weiss knocks it all over. Rachel Weiss. <laughs> Rachel Weiss. Every knocks those little right. books over. You know, she's married to Daniel Craig. Is she really? Yeah, they're so hot together. Is right? she? Is she, he's short, right? It doesn't matter. It does though. It does. Listen, I love no, short kings. It doesn't matter. No, when I he love looks short like kings. That. I love short kings. But as I, as I've said on a recent episode that I don't know if I'm still editing or not. But <laughs> I, 
I dated a short muscle person, little muscle person, as I like to call him, and he had to fold me in half just to top. I like a little, I like and a And in your king. 20s, how fun. Don't in get... In your 30s, no. you're not folding me in half. We're you just... might get me in a fourth. We're just... <laughs> you might, you might. So I need, you have to be 5'9 or above to ride this ride. He was like 5'6". It was like that's fun though. No, it's not. That's now that's Catholicism for you. They like I'm short. Oh, well, due to due to their use. Due to the. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I Who just want to say you? Bosco and Camden. Camden. Camden well, yeah, was Bosco's so freaking great, good. But Camden was so fucking. But good But also too. Willow, <laughs> Serena Cha Cha, fucking funny. Someone I would never want to be read by is is Willow. She's vicious. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was in, funny. Though. There's a little devil inside. Well, that there's a little girl. freak inside there. Oh yeah, duh. We did just go to her birthday party. I did. I couldn't. I didn't. You did. You know what it was? There was someone that looked an awful lot like you, and I kept referring to them throughout the party. Like I kept being like, "Yeah," and then me and that one, and it wasn't someone I knew. And then people would turn and look, and then I'd realize what I'd do, and I'd be like, oh, "I'm sorry, I don't know who that is." Alexis. Thank you. Whoever that was. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I went to Will's birthday party. It was super fun. And I finally got to meet Daya. I did get FOMO when I heard you got to meet Daya. We just talked about bidets, bidets. for yeah. like... For days? 20 minutes, which is a day in some cultures. Dog, dog years. That smile, that handsome face. Jeez. She's taller than me. Cheese and crackers. So now we're doing girl groups of the 60s. I saw an online kerfuffle, if you will, and everyone was talking about who the most iconic girl group is. And it's Say La Bee. Bewitched. That's dumb. That's dumb. That's I, I, I said it wrong. I said yeah. the name of the song. Exactly. So you know that they're not iconic because you don't even know their name. <sighs> Actually, that was one of the first drag numbers I ever saw you perform. I didn't really know you then. I choreographed that. I could tell. <laughs> anyway, so the, the clear answer is Spice Girls because they changed the world. Truly you're the not world. Saying beyond, um, you're not saying Dyson... <laughs> Are you okay? Dyson dry. <laughs> I've been out for a long Yeah, that's true. Time. For me personally, the ones that I know most songs and I know most of their, actually I own all of their albums, is Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child is, for me, part of me, they're my girls. Destiny. But Spice Girls. Spice Girls know. did, they took the world by world storm. World by storm. I didn't know that British people sang. I didn't know they could make movies on a bus. You know, you can't find that anywhere. It's not streaming anywhere. I have it on VHS. I have a VCR. You do not. Mm-hmm. What? I just loaned it to um, Veronica, actually, because she needed it for a project. Why, when I was looking for a VCR, when I got the VCR converter, I couldn't find a VCR, so I had to borrow it from someone I had sex with a long, long time ago. No, and you had to borrow broken. a VCR converter. No, I, ha I bought the converter. I needed a VCR. And you said you didn't have one, so I had to borrow one from a guy I fucked, like, 12 years ago. And now his VCR is broken, and I just haven't said like and I didn't break it it just suddenly one of the tapes went in and it never came back out and now I don't know what to do because like was it my tape I wish it was a funny thing happened away the forum I played hero Love you. now I have to like message him and be like hey sorry remember when you put your dick inside me and it came back out well now this tape won't do the last part <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I guess I didn't remember that I did have one. Okay, that makes sense. So, girl groups, so exciting, cannot wait. Let's go right into it. I like Hocus Pocus. That's my favorite girl group. Let's just get into Again, it and we'll talk to the it. name of the movie, not the name of the actual group, the Sanderson Sisters. You're like a mom when they're talking <laughs> about, like, instead of saying Daniel Craig, you say James Bond. You know what he's really hot in? Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, but that movie's really disturbing. Do you know that Harrison Ford keeps crashing planes? Yeah, yeah, you told me that yesterday. He should stop. He drove the Millennium <laughs> Falcon. He should stop. <laughs> Harrison, stop it. RuPaul has to stop with this outfit. It's tinsel. Oh, you know what? I liked it. You liked it. You like anything where she's two-piece yes. skin. I didn't love it when it first came out, and then it moved a lot, and I said, okay. Yeah, I love movement. Alec Mappa. Love. I love, love Alec, Mappa. Alec Mappa. Yeah. Adore. Adorable, wonderful, sweet. Well, let's just get into the performances real quick. Or do you want to just go yeah, person let's do by it. person? Bad, d bad, ba bad Bunny Baby. What's the song called? Bad Boy Baby. Weren't you taking notes on this? Don't involve me I in this. To be honest, I didn't take notes. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and say it and mouth it, and I'll do the rest. 
Oh, okay. So let's start with the first group with their song. Bad Boy Baby by the Shang Rulas. Yes, and of course, that is our love. Willow, Daya, no. Yeah, yeah Willow, Daya, and Bosco. These outfits are so freaking so cute. So cute. Oh, because we, we went and watched this live at Roscoe's, do we say? Mm -hmm. So much fun. I had never got, I mean, sorry, Roscoe's. I had never gone and seen one of their Same. viewings. I hadn't been to a viewing party since I last hosted one, which was many years ago. Yeah. This yeah. one was more fun. This one was so it's much fun. Just, it was, we got to sit down. We yeah. Ate, I ate chicken tenders, or I watched someone eat chicken tenders while they cried. It was fun. We got to hear that they didn't, they had like pulled these, there was a rack that they They're, pulled these okay. from, but these are so cute. And I love the wigs from Wigs and Grace. And everyone did great. And Willow this apparently was, choreographed a lot of it. Yeah, Willow. So great. So Willow's a secret. She's like, I'm not going to tell anyone about this. I'm not going to tell anyone that I'm a choreographer. I'm not going to tell anyone that I sew. I kind of love it. It's like sneak attack. That's why like I've for years pretended to be a bad dancer. I'm just waiting on the right opportunity to suddenly be a good choreographer. Oh, yes. That moment when they go, but. Ba ba look, so cute, and yeah. the lyrics were really funny. Ba 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 look. Let's talk about group number two with their song. He's my baby by the Runettes. Mm -hmm. It's Deja Sky. It's Georges, and it's Jasmine Kennedy. They look cute. So cute. I liked this, this one a lot. This was sweet. I thought this was a solid group. Yeah, none of these were bad. This no. was such an enjoyable episode to watch. Well, we were also again drunk, uh, with chicken fingers. Yeah. And then group three with their song, My Baby is Loved by mm -hmm. the Rupremes. It's That's a really wet mouth. Hey, mouths are wet. <laughs> if you do it right. So we had Anteria, we Camden. had Carrie, and we had Carrie. Lady Camden. And these are such pretty outfits. You said, you turned to me and you said, make that for me. And I yes, said, I would like to wear it because I like, you do the boobies and then everything else is a mystery. I, I loved that. it. I loved it. Now this was the Supremes. This is RuPaul's favorite group. Yep. I enjoyed this. I did I did think that this group out of the three for me, part of me, was a little less cohesive. Yes. Yeah. yeah and yeah. exciting to watch. I didn't and I wanted to be excited because I loved the outfits, okay? And I loved seeing Carrie. Oh, we have seen Carrie, this gorgeous supermodel. Which by the way, she was at the viewing party at Roscoe's. And that was seeing I, her face up close. It wasn't so it's an, it was kinda oh. like it's it's audience. It was like were they ma were they mad at us because it's, she's so beautiful she's, and they, she's and I wanted them to dim it because I was tired of seeing all the beauty. I know it was and the she brightest was, lights and she even was the little bit of, she was a little late because of the weather had the plane and then when she got there I was like you shouldn't have come at all because you're so beautiful. It was gross. It was, I was gross. I was, was hurt gross. but she's I was also inspired. One of the most beautiful and, people I've ever seen in real who's life. Who's your is 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 she your okay everyone everyone. Who is your, I should quit drag, so I'll never be them. Ooh. I'm gonna say mine, because I, I, I see them all the time. I love them so much. Baby Love from New York City. Mm, she is good choice, good choice. So gorgeous and so beautiful, and I'm obsessed. And doing everything you wish you could. Yeah. Okay, okay. If I'm being honest, ooh, vulnerable. I'm gonna say Alexis Bevels. No, you're not. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's so many. I, it would be too hard to pick one, but Carrie Colby immediately went to the top of the list that night. I'm gonna be honest. It was distracting. I, it was. It was distracting. There were times where I would just stop looking at the screen and I just was watching her watch TV. Yeah. Cause she was that beautiful. And I could do that for but a couple of episodes. With that said, seeing her in that wig that kind of aged her and to see her still looking so stunning, but older, it was a mind fuck and I enjoyed it. Yeah. Speaking of fucking things, mm. let's talk about Willow Pill in this fuck me outfit with panties. So oh, the yeah. category is hard on. <gasps> which is so interesting because you took your you took your V's, right? So we wanted to do the we wanted oh my to God. we wanted to do our um Oh my god. Oh my god. Our oh, part fuck. to be a part of the theme. So we each popped a couple of Viagra before this. Oh. And the hard on should be hitting any second now. I don't know what's happening. I forgot I had this hard dress that I was Because I got it for Valentine's Day and I forgot it existed. This is an emergency. You have. Listen, I'm loving my body, okay? It's gotten me through a lot. It's got me out of a couple jams. 
Willow Pills panties. I loved it, but I could see the panty line, so points off for that. You're silly. Me! <laughs> Why do you do this stuff? You know we can <laughs> see you. Wait, where are my glasses? Wait, where I don't you think that your glasses, glasses are gonna help. Where are you get my glasses right there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Not on Ash Wednesday, he's asleep. <laughs> hey, you changed and I changed too. We did two very different kinds of changes. <laughs> I'm gonna put this back on actually. No, no, I, no, 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 this no. is great. No, I don't like I think it. you look cute. I think you look like the, um, like a, a someone who needs help from the government. I like this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Willow feels cute. Diabetti in this graffiti. Oh, she looked like a superhero. She looked like a robot super love hero. She's gonna cure all the world's issues with love. I thought it looked like, you know, when the graf when, like, uh, oh, you know in the whiz when the graffiti people come out of the wall? Mm-hmm. That's what it looks like to me. Graffiti, but awesome. Oh, Bosco. This is incredible and loved. I loved it so much. Do you wanna talk about Bosco's butthole though? I love seeing it. It is so important to be proud of your butthole these days. Especially on Ash Wednesday. Deja Sky. Mm. Deja Sky looking like a cute kawaii cartoon superhero. Yeah, she said this was like a cosplay kind of take. That she wasn't going for some big... Because I think she said at Roscoe's, like, it was more of my little cosplay moment. And I thought it was perfect. Super cute. Loved. Adored. I love her body... I said it before, I'll say it again. I love her body so much. Love. Georges. Georges giving... What's that? Veronica's Closet. Victoria's yes, Secret. Veronica's Closet starring Kirstie Alley. May she rest. Well, she's alive. Well, is she? Yeah. This is, uh... Well, is she? Yeah, she's alive. <laughs> she's like a bad person. Should she be? There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Scientology's gonna get you. I liked it. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah. It's just, think, a, it's just a brown panty. I think week one, we would have been blown away by it. I think we're... I think because she's such a star and because yeah. Ruth loves her so much but I think I think everyone loves her I'm, I'm I not, love her I'm not feeling like it's just Rue like I see it the star that this person is that this star is Jasmine Kennedy I'm not a fan of this God yeah. bless her bless her bless her was not it wasn't for me I'm ready to see where she goes after this show because I think I think you've said it before say it again I don't know what you, what I said. One of George's best reads too is, why do you look so old, but you're so young? She, she does, paints old. She does paint really old. Um, oh. Angeria Paris Van Michaels. Now this is something we haven't really seen her in before. I loved it, it was so weird. This was so cute. A little on the money, like the judges said, but I don't care because it was different and it was so freaking cute. And Angeria can just do it. I love seeing Angeria have fun with it too. Like yeah. I love that she's like, look, I did something quirky. Love that shit. Carrie Colby. Veins. <laughs> Veins. Veins. Yeah. Gorgeous I titties. I enjoyed the concept of it. I enjoyed the concept of it. I, and I, I said this artery. to you. I said this to you when we were there. I like seeing her in kind of a darker, like, Dragula vibe. I thought she looked really beautiful and striking. I just think this was... This was a, um... What was that word? Heart attack. It's like the idea of it versus the... Execution. Mm, this, this was should have yeah, been. A, it it should have been executed. <laughs> Lady Camden. She got executed by Arrow with a big flur furry heart on her. This was fine. It, it wasn't my favorite, but I like her, so I'll forgive it. I thought it was cute-ish. I thought it, uh, to me, for me, part of me it read as very last minute. Oh shit! There's a heart runway. Quick, get that yeah. pillow off my bed. I'm gonna just stick it on this dress. She looked gorgeous. What would you have done for a hard on? I mean, not counting this. This, this would be perfect, but... <laughs> <laughs> ah, do you know what you look like under that? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I would dress I up as the operation man, and I would have the heart of the operation, like, being pulled out. <gasps> oh, that's fun. Like I don't... the light-up nose. I just had the idea of... Remember in Game of Thrones? No, you don't, didn't watch. There's no. a scene where she has to eat a horse heart. Why? Because that that's like their... medicine back then? No. Horny? It, it's how they're... No, it's how they get... If you're not a part of the Dothraki, and you want to be a part of the Dothraki, you have to prove yourself and by eating doesn't? a horse heart. 
Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe I would do that, but that's not very current. That's never <clears> stopped you before. I would just do like a, I would do like a springy boing and like have my dress be poking it. You'd have a boner. You'd walk the runway with a boner. Not my, I wouldn't do my own personal boner because they're standing there for hours. Well, I would get a fake one. be able to see it. I would get a fake one. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I do like to wear a lot of skirts. You're right. That's not very... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, all so, your skirts are tied to uh, giant cock. <laughs> Sorry. That's it. That's it, right? That's it. Was she the last one? Yeah, that's it. So that's it. We have a winner, babes, and guess what? That winner is Daya Betty. Good job. Congratulations, Daya. I think Willow should have won, but I'm biased. I also love a. I love a Willow, but but oh, I, don't, I don't. I don't disagree with the Daya win though. I enjoy. I enjoy that for her, and I also love. I love the storyline. I think if the producers are going to go so hard on this attempt at a villain edit, which I don't even know that you could call it that, but at like a pre-villain, if you will, edit. <laughs> Yeah, there has to be a payoff for the character. A five thousand dollar payoff, and she got it. And she, she got won. it. Congratulations, girl! You deserved it. That Maybe moment. now you can buy a bidet that has a butt dryer. The winner is Daya. The um, lose the, the, <laughs> the bottom two. The bottom two. The bottom two are actually Carrie and Jasmine, which. Yeah. It's sad for multiple reasons because, you know, they have a, they have a connection. Jasmine really loves Carrie. Yeah. Carrie is beautiful, and because nobody I, wants to see her go. She hasn't been, this is her first time kind of towards the lower end. No. And she wasn't bad in the challenge, she no, just was kind of different. She, she's lip synced before. I don't know how you expect me to remember all Yeah, that. that's so true. After seeing what Carrie can do, as gorgeous as she is, she was not gonna send Jasmine home when it comes to a lip sync. It's just not gonna happen. I don't know, I actually, maybe I was drunk. I yeah. actually thought they could have given it to Carrie because Jasmine's wig was started to fall off. Jasmine lost her shoe. Oh yeah. And then, and you know, Rue kind of hates that really shit. hates yeah, that shit. That's true. So I was really hoping, I was really hoping and then let down. Out of the two, I would love to see more of what Carrie has to bring than yeah. what Jasmine does. But with that said, Jasmine's a really incredible television character. And a great and performer. I think it's gonna be fun to see what she does for Yes. Probably one more episode. This is one Kennedy that didn't get assassinated. But then we get to see if it's chocolate. Does, does, is there hope for Carrie? And I so hoped there was. Yeah. But guess what? What? It's just chocolate. Wow! It was really sad seeing her be there. What? Seeing her there live see that. Okay, I'm gonna disagree with you. I was just about to say, I think seeing her, she had such a great attitude about it. Oh, she's she a was, star, she's wonderful. Right, so if anything, it brought me a little peace to see her at peace. I was there watching her be like, it's okay, it's okay, like, yeah. This, getting to, okay, getting to talk to two of the cast members in the last week, I won't say which, that's a deep tease. And then getting to see team. Carrie alive at Roscoe's. I do really feel like this whole season, everyone loves each other. They're all friendly with each other. Yeah, I'm not liking that there's not a lot of drama post season. I need a little bit, okay? I know I'm not saying I need a Tamisha Amon level. Why? She Cause she went hard. I'm not saying I want that level. And I do hope Tamisha's doing okay. Can I but, say? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, no do it. You, no, this isn't anything. It, is it ever? TikTok is trying to bring me to ostomy bag TikTok. Nope, I can't do this right now. <laughs> I've, I've, I've had such a busy week. Yeah. So ultimately, Carrie, you're a star, and we love you, and you're too beautiful to ever be seen again. So yeah. please, please stop don't going ever on TV come near me, and don't be in person ever again. You're too beautiful. But right. I wish you long, successful she's, career. She's going to be. She's a Colby, and not only that, she is a Carrie Colby. She's I Carrie. love that we got to know another incredible member of the Colby family, and I hope we get to meet a lot more. Not in person, though, because I, I because you're it's all really too beautiful, hard. and it's, a, it's, it's really I'm, difficult. I'm upset. No, hey, it's... look at me! Stop looking at me! Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Drag Race UK, nope. That's not what we're watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed whatever this was, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You hit the bell notification, get a notification every time we post a little video. And honey, oh, just go to patreon.com and type in I am each of the show. Follow us there. You can see everything you see here and everything you don't. Yep. We're also all on Cameo, so you can book us individually yeah. on Cameo. I have a Cameo. I have six. <laughs> you can also get one from both of us with the background and all of that. We can break up with your family members for you because family is toxic. Especially during Sorry. Easter. Yeah, well, it's not Easter yet. But it's, so we're going into Lent.
I'll, I'll explain it later. You know what? So you can go to imhoftheshow.com and go ahead and get your Shamio. Why don't you give up Starbucks for Lynn and use that money to buy Shamio from us? <gasps> we'll, ta we'll take you. We'll take you on a journey. On the caffeinated you journey. You won't even need. You won't even need Starbucks after we're done with you. You, you may need. You may need. You may need counseling. Help. Yeah, from a professional. All right. We will see you next week. Goodbye. Try to remember the eighth of September. You remember. Follow, 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 follow. Huh? Your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so rude. <laughs> Is like, it like Carrie Coleman? No, that's the thing. Okay, so I know you've been really stressed out because you've been really busy this week, and this is how I can tell because you don't care you don't care about yourself. <laughs> no, yourself. You cannot. You cannot do a cameo like that. That's no, I'm so gonna start mean. in that. You're gonna do a reveal, a cameo reveal. <laughs> yeah. I like should pay extra for that. <laughs> that's incredible. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> take a Polaroid like that. I don't know if I could sell a Polaroid. I'll much. put that back on. We could do both. Get Polaroids from our show. What if I turn I'm this around? <laughs> I don't know it's a difference. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> I look like a mad scientist. <laughs> don't you have rehearsal after this? Like, aren't you busy? Yeah, night? I am. Yeah, I am. This is how I talk and this is my character. Can I tell you something sad <laughs> to bring you down? <laughs> I don't know if it'll work. One of Mama, you know, IMHO oh. Artist Mama, one of her in-home caretakers stole her social security number and opened a credit card and charged $3,000 on her credit card that they opened <gasps> that she had no idea. Isn't that so awful? That is really terrible. Now, Ugh. so anyway, we, so I'm, So we are sure that it was one of the caretakers. Yeah, And they're because not looking into she, anyone else. I, Alexis, just I know sure. this didn't cost $3,000. <laughs> no, so anyway, this so did. <laughs> I do need, if you can send some money on Vimo, I'm going to buy a plane ticket so that I can go down to Memphis and uh, punch that lady in the throat. Yeah, please do that. I mean, I'm going to talk to her first and just see like, hey, were you going through something? Did you need some help? And then after she explains herself, I'm going to punch her in the throat. Don't come into Mama's house. Okay, don't you come, don't you come into Mama's house and do that to Mama. Yeah, and she's, and frankly, she doesn't have time to deal with all of that. Like, we've got her getting her, we've got her we've busy got her doing, busy. Uh, she's got to do our colorings books. I'm I just so want to say for the audience at home, your tucking panty is just out right there. I've never worn them, they're brand new. I just got them in the mail today. Oh, is that tuck it up? Yeah. I is got... that because Bambi changed her name to tuck it up in no, jeans? No, I got it uh, because, um... Avi posted about it, and I was like, "Oh, let me look into that." Do you want to do a? Do it's you want to do a? Do you want to do a real quick? Cabana. Tuck it up review. Yeah. Here, I can get out. Do you want to get out? No. I'm just gonna put them on over my shorts. Yeah. So. Girl, you can't show that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't see it. Tuck it up. I have one. I have one. Do you I really? You wear them. Yeah. But you wear all those skirts to hide your giant cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to stop. Bye.